Hello and welcome to Saints and Sinners 2020 and this is part two, The Sinners. These are the things mainly culled from the Saturday wrap and mainly software and beer and leisure things that weren't so good in 2020. And strangely enough in this one I'm getting political but political with a small p because if there's one thing 2020 has brought out which I didn't like was people just arguing about politics all the time. We're a very divided country. I think we're a very divided world. Anyway, um, let's start with a thing that really, really got on my nerves. Updates. <laughs> Laptop updates, surprisingly. Windows 20.04. And I'm amazed that more people didn't have this problem, but it seems to be a problem if you use integrated graphics. And basically after you upgrade, unless you remove lots of .NET and stuff, which breaks a lot of things, your desktop doesn't load. You can um, call up the task manager, run and then explore and get it to work, but nope, caused me a lot of problems. And a lot of hard, hard, I can't even say, heartache and money as well. Surprisingly enough, my desktop, when I upgraded that to 2004, NVIDIA graphics card, no issues at all. I still can't believe it. Um, but there you go. Um, so I've had to cut back on some of the programs that I've used, hence remote control software in the Saints. And while we're talking about updaters, and this is on an Intel platform as well, Mac OS 11, Big Sur. Got halfway through it, then just crashed out. Got halfway through it again, then just crashed out. Left me in neither place. Had to wipe the hard disk and upgrade to Catalina, then to Big Sur. It's not been a good year for Intel laptops and upgrading them. And Microsoft, with your insiders program, I'm sure you could have sorted that out. Mind you, I'm still having problems with my Dell, with Windows update, the cumulative update for December. Just won't install, just bombs out. I've done everything. I might have to reinstall, but I'm waiting for January. But it's not the best of feelings when you know that your machine is not fully secure. And here's one I never thought I would say. Firefox. Firefox used to be my default browser on practically everything. To be honest, um, it's now only the default and it could be knocked out by Credge um, on iOS and Android. But on my desktop, and I think it was... March, April, um, I have two disks, a C and a D. Um, C is SSD, D is spinning. I keep all my downloads and whatnots on my D drive, which goes to sleep. It didn't happen before, didn't happen last year, but this year, the whole thing would just lock up when I was trying to access things on the D drive. Found some really nice people on Twitter, put me in the right place to go to, to um, Firefox support, downloaded a various bits and pieces, and logged an incident, and then nothing. And then came back and asked for more stuff, and then nothing. And then I gave up in the end. I really like Credge. I really like Firefox, and I want to support it because it's open source. Um, but you've got to support me as well, which is a shame. Anyway, um, moving on, media, podcasts, politics. This week in Google, which is not just about Google, it's about Twitter and Facebook and life on the web as well. It turned into this week in politics and not a wide-ranging discussion of politics. It became very one-sided and it became an echo chamber, which is quite funny because a lot of things they complained about 
was a political echo chamber. I still listen to it because there's still bits of good stuff on it, but uh, I'm from the UK. It's from the States. Um, your politics not the greatest thing for me. And if it's called This Week in Google, not more Google would be better, please. Huh. Here's a strange one. Food. This year has been the year of the pot noodle and various other generic versions of pot noodle. I went to Lidl's um, and they had a really good deal on chicken and mushroom pot noodles. Now Aldi pot noodles, I think they're about 33 or 36p, uh, dirt cheap. They're fine. They're really good. Lidl's, absolutely terrible. Okay, bought two, gave one away. Um, I just didn't like it. Um, no. So that's my, <laughs> I don't know, I hesitate to call it food. Um, but it, pot noodles kept me going and kept me isolated and all that sort of stuff. The inconsistency of the year award goes to Apple. You have lots of products. Um, the iPhone updated every year. Various Macs all over the place. Apple TV. Are you really interested in Apple TV? Do you want to keep it going? You've got Apple TV Plus. Um, if you have a product, get behind it, support it, keep it up to date, or drop it. I hesitate to say turn into Google because they drop more things than it's worth it, but your punters in the loop don't be so inconsistent which is a surprise after apple silicone and mobile network operators i have all my stuff on three uk for the last two years three have been going downhill rapidly uh, especially in the daytime um their cells are completely overloaded their customer support is appalling um, they've got rid of, um, well, they use Capita, so that explains a lot. Um, they're bringing it back in-house, but in India. Um, I don't feel like I'm a valued customer of theirs, and their Twitter support forums, very, very similar. It's fine if everything's working okay. It's fine if it's in the middle of the night. You get some really good speeds, but... They've dropped the ball, and they are only very, very slowly getting it back. Come on, three, get your act together. You were once excellence. And Google, I've already mentioned you. Google Photo Storage, free for life. And this year they're dropping it. Now, I already pay the extra, so um, I don't need to worry about this, but the number of things that they've just dropped... Google Plus. I really miss Google Plus. Um, Google Reader. Uh, they are really, really, really poor. Worst streaming thing of the year. Well, actually, it was Away. And Away was quite good. Actually, Away was very good. And it looked like it was just about to get better. And it was all on a cliffhanger. And it was canned. That's a shame. Um, probably COVID related, but try and keep the good stuff going, please. Customer care. New boiler in January. British gas. Talk about uncoordinated. Talk about duplicitous. I rang them up and paid on the credit card and then they debited my current account. They didn't take the money off the credit card. I am the customer. I choose how to pay it. They didn't connect up the boiler IQ. I had to do that. I got sent round everywhere. They're electrician. I said, can you sort it out for me? Yes. And then he just disappeared. Um, and the project manager didn't manage anything at all. The only guy who came out of it with credit was Geraint, the installer. And he was only given half the instructions. Come on, British Gas. You can do better. You can do much better. And lastly, politicians and political appointees. 
there has been a lot of do as I say and not as I do. And since I'm in Wales, sitting on a bench in the bay eating chips. You've got to set a good example. There are elections in May. Set a good example. And also, things go well. Take the credit for it. Things don't go so well. Blame your voters. Consistency, honesty and integrity. That's what politics is all about. Yeah, um, I'm not looking good. It must be someone else's fault. Anyway, that has been my sinners for 2020. Ooh, forgot. I did mention this anyway on the Saints Sinners Hotels um, Premier Inn. They have a new Premier Inn in Hereford. It's really good. The staff are really good. Um, you've got to pay for the car park. Increasingly, I don't like that. Um, I got put on the ground floor in a disabled room. I don't mind that, but could have been used for a disabled person. And here's the big things that I didn't like. I couldn't get any dab reception. It was like being in a Faraday cage. Premier Inn, uh, put me on the top floor wherever I go. And Travel Lodge, um, Premier Inn would allow you to rebook free of charge. Now I know Travel Lodge, you've got serious uh, financial problems, but charging people five pounds every time they had to rebook through no fault of their own, through government instructions, not the best of things. Okay, COVID-19, but customer care. Anyway, that's it. Um, thank you. Um, comments in the comments and um, I think I'll do a, a look ahead to 2021. Hmm, probably in the daytime as well. Bye bye.